Welcome to another sample CKA test video. I am Azure Solutions Architect and Azure Administrator, Azure Secure Engineer, as well as a certified Kubernetes application developer. CKA sample test question 12, troubleshooting. Pod will not start. Skill level, difficult. This test question comes from the troubleshooting section of the exam. Uh, particularly, application is misbehaving. Develop effective strategies for troubleshooting. And just pointing out this section of the exam is the highest scoring weight. So the question might be worth a good amount of points. The question. The pods created by the deployment named MarioDB are failing. Get them into a running state and copy the status into a file named q12.txt. One thing to note, if you want to follow along, please go to my GitHub site and copy the deploy.yaml and go ahead and run it. Then you'll be set up to follow along. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. First step is go get that YAML file. So here I am, my GitHub site. I'm gonna click on CCAD file, CKA, question 12, deploy. Gotta go ahead and copy this. Copy. And do a vim q12.yaml to a paste. All right, so let's go ahead and create it. So far, so good. So at least the YAML is good syntax. Let's do a QCTL get pods. Oh, we got our first error. Two errors. I got a feeling. Yes, we got three errors. Not looking good. So generally, there's two ways to troubleshoot pods. The first command. Now let me. Get that back. kubectl describe pod. Let's take one of these. Now let's say we it looks like we pulled the image successfully. So that's good. Uh, come on up. Nothing really earth shattering here. Terminate it. Because of an error, exit code one, not so good. I uh, don't really see a smoking gun here. Everything looks nothing, no nice error message. So let's then go to log. QCTL, oh, where is it, get log? Maybe it's logs. Oh, yep, yeah. logs, here we go. We got some problems here. Entry point and database is uninitialized and password option. It's not specified. You need to specify one of the following. So that's probably our issue. So it looks like we need to create a secret to fix this. All right, so I'm going to kubectl create secret generic 
I'm going to call my secret password. And I'm going to do a from literal equals. I want to come over here. Copy. Paste. Make that equal to hello. And then from literal equals Maria DB user. I'll make that admin. And that should create my secret, I believe. All right, looks like that's good. So the next thing I need to do is set that environment variable into my deployment. So kubectl set env from equals secret slash password. That's what, that was my name of my secret. And it's for deployment. And that deployment was called Maria DB. All right. I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen. Get my pods back. We got one that's running. We got another one getting created. All right. We got two running. Another one being created. All right. And it looks like we've got, they've been running for at least 31 seconds. So I think we're good. All right. So I'm going to do a just take this here. Can I control C? How about give me this? Copy. Do vim q12.txt. There we go. I think that's good. I think we just might got full credit on one of the most valued questions on the exam. All right. Excellent. Thanks for watching as always.